This is a painting which is six foot by four feet high. And uh, I did it, believe it or not, in less than 50 minutes. And because of that, and because of what I was looking for, what I was looking for is movement on a static canvas. Artists for centuries have been trying to get movement on canvas, and it's been very difficult to, to, to achieve that. Now, the zebras are animals that you can see a kilometer away. And I was asking myself, uh, what's wrong with the zebra? There's no camouflage in what, in what they're doing. Uh, in not what they're doing, it, it, camouflage uh, in their skin color. But then when I began to see one zebra running and a lion is chasing it, the, the stripes look like psychedelic colors. And if there are two of zebras running, then the, the lions get dizzy. And I say to myself, I will paint just a three seconds or four seconds of what I record in my mind's eye. And therefore, by doing that and not putting details, I was able to achieve this movement, zebras in movement. And that is something that is, to me, uh, an achievement. There are eight to 10 zebras ready to leap. They are in black and white stripes. And it is the random stripes that give us the illusion of movement. Professor Ibrahim has done here the most undoable thing, captured movement. Here's a poem. I call them the stripey strides. The moment pre-movement, the split of a second, feet lifted off ground, yet undecided where to go, direction unfathomed. Speck of uncertainty, speck of fear, speck of indecision, speck of lively frenzy. The stripe adorned speck of life. From the painter's eyes to the canvas, zebra in unstoppable strokes of black and white, a matter of stride, so much pride. I had a second part of the poem because this was truly impressive when I first look upon it. It is the moment when there is indecision in our hearts, when our step is about to begin. We know not where we move. It is this frenzy of humankind that brought forth the second poem, Stripey Strides Two. Trapped is the fate of humanity between black and white. Do's and don'ts, haves, have-nots, and have mores, trapped in the moment, lost yet leaping, like the sturdy zebras edging away jerkily to somewhere or nowhere, the fate of humanity.